Hello, it's Mark with Mark's Astro Journey. I'm here to talk to you about Celestron's Power Seeker EQ 127 Reflector Telescope. This is the first telescope I bought, and I'll just go ahead right away up front and admit, when I bought this telescope, I didn't do enough research. I did look at some reviews online and read some of those, and also read the marketing and specification the details about the telescope but I was new to the hobby I didn't really have that much background knowledge and I should have got better educated so after owning the telescope there are a number of things I learned that caused me to come to the conclusion I made a mistake I shouldn't have bought this telescope I should have done more research I'm going to share 10 of those reasons with you and I created a series of brief videos sharing each of those reasons if you enjoy this video, you might want to look at some of the other reasons that I share about why you should reconsider purchasing this telescope. So let's get started. Notice that the tube of the telescope mounts with these two rings, with these bolts through here. And this is a very short mounting plate. Often on a lot of telescopes there's a plate and you have like a Vixen saddle and it slides in and you tighten down, um, you know, like an adjusting bolt or set screw to hold your telescope in place. And so you can see that if you loosen these two knobs, you can open these rings and you can lift off the telescope itself. But my biggest complaint about the way that this telescope is mounted is not so much the rings, but it's the fact that this plate is very short. This is a really big tube. It's not super long like a lot of ref uh, refractor telescopes, but it's kind of bulky and big to have this little short mounting plate. The mounting plate probably should have been more like, you know, six inches or maybe eight inches and it would have given it a lot more stability. Well, I hope you found hearing my experience with this telescope helpful. And as I mentioned in the beginning, I created a series of these videos. Just to keep them brief, you could look at the ones that you were interested in, where I talk about the different reasons that I really wouldn't recommend this telescope. You might want to check out some of the others, and they're in the description of this video. If you enjoy videos of this type, dealing with astronomy and astrophotography, I also encourage you to subscribe to my channel, leave any comments you have after you watch the video. I always enjoy hearing the viewers' feedback and I'm wishing you clear skies.